there are so many options for choosing screen recorder software from free to paid and everything in between. But in today's video, I want to show you how I choose and what I look for in a professional screen recorder software that is going to work really well for both your YouTube videos and your online business. So stay tuned for how I make this decision and what I look for in screen recorders. Hey Go-Getter, I'm Salma Jafri and I'm here to show you how to grow your visibility, credibility and profitability with YouTube. So if that's what you want to do, hit that red subscribe button and let's get this show on the road. All right, so I'm going to tell you about my preferred screen recorder software and I'm going to walk you through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points here about why I think these are the top considerations for choosing screen recorder software. Now, I use Camtasia because I think it is the most professional level screen recorder software. Reason number one why I use Camtasia is the ability to choose screen dimensions. And let me explain what I mean by that. So now we're inside my workspace here inside Camtasia. Okay, and if I right click here and go to project settings, then you're going to see that I can choose the dimensions of that screen. So I'm going to click on dimensions and you can see I can choose to screen record in widescreen format, which are all these 16 by 9 options. But I can also choose to record my screen in, let's say, a square format, which is great for Instagram, right? But I can also choose to record uh, showing my iPhone screen or my iPad screen, and I can also do a custom screen dimension. Now you can also go into project settings by going into edit and going into project settings from here and choosing your screen dimensions. And this is important to me because I want to be able to film in a variety of dimensions from a variety of devices for a variety of platforms. So if you want to be able to have that flexibility and functionality, then a professional screen recorder such as Camtasia is going to give you all of these options. Okay, the next thing I look for is the ability to hide certain things and show certain things. So one of the first things in that is to hide clutter on my desktop. Now, I personally don't have a lot of clutter, but I have seen a lot of really bad screen recording videos with so much clutter on the screen that you don't even know where to focus on or what the video creator is trying to actually show you. So if you go into this button, the screen recorder software button here, and I click on this, this, I have an option to hide desktop icons. Let me minimize my screen to show you. Right now my desktop is fairly clean as you can see, um, but if I go over here it will hide any desktop icons like so. And so then when I'm recording I don't have to manually rearrange anything like a lot of people if they have like let's say 50 desktop icons here, you don't have to worry about showing that clutter. You can just go to, to this button here and then click show or hide your desktop icons. So that again really helps your screen recording to look way more professional because you are giving a nice clean interface to your viewers. Okay, now the next one is a huge point and that one is the ability to edit your screen recording. So many free screen recording softwares do not allow you to edit the final recording. Now imagine this, you are filming a course module, let's say it's an hour long or a webinar or training or anything like that and you have spent time recording that uh, that particular training, but then there's certain parts which need to be edited for clarity or you need to just make it a little bit more interesting. You can't actually do that in a lot of the free screen recording softwares, but in Camtasia, because it's a video editor along with the screen recorder, you actually can do that. So you can take a look at your screen recording and you can add in animations, you can add in uh, you can add in uh, annotations, you can add in text effects, you can add in music, narration, you can zoom in, you can do so much more in terms of editing that particular screen recording and then maybe repurpose it. A lot of times what I do is I would do a live class, a uh, teach a live class and then edit that screen recording break it down into modules and lessons and offer it up as a uh, self-study course that somebody could take. So I would take a live recording, edit it into a evergreen course. And that is something you can only do if you're using a professional level screen recorder software. 
Okay, now the next thing that I really look for in good screen recorders is the ability to blur out sensitive info. Oftentimes when you're recording your screen, you may not know that you have certain info on screen that might not be the most appropriate to show uh, to the public. It could be your email address or sensitive info related to money or finances or anything like that. So let me show you what you can do with Camtasia. So let's say here I have recorded something in my analytics and it's showing revenue figures and maybe I don't want to share revenue figures. So what I would actually do is go here into annotations go here into blur and highlight and I'm going to drop this little blur here and I can then uh, adjust what I want to blur out. So in this case, I'm going to blur out this revenue figure that I don't want to show or not ready to share yet in my final version of my screen recording. So I don't have to worry about this while I'm recording. I can just edit these things out and make sure that the screen recording is showing exactly what I want to show, no sensitive information. Another thing that I really look for in a professional screen recorder is the ability to render my final export file in multiple formats. So for example, in Camtasia, I'd go here to file, I'd go to export. I'm going to go to local file to show you some options and it says file format here. And if I click on file format, you can see that I can export my screen recording in mp4 or .mov and then as a fun aspect I can also do a gif file. Now having the option to do mp4 and mov is good because a lot of times it depends on where you're going to be sharing this screen recording. A lot of different you know um, uh, softwares and websites may play one or the other. So a professional level screen recorder software is going to give you the ability to export to multiple file formats that are going to play everywhere that you want to share your file. When I switched from Windows to Mac, I really wanted to have a screen recorder software that was going to come with me and it was going to work on both devices. Now I know that half my audience uses Windows and half my audience uses Mac. So Camtasia is perfect for that. If you are on a Windows device, maybe thinking about using a Mac in the future or you're using a Mac, but maybe you want to install Camtasia on another device that's Windows, you can actually do that. One thing that I have suffered personally while using screen recorders is losing my entire file. So imagine this, you are filming, you know, a 40 minute training video and your laptop battery dies <laughs> or something happens or your computer crashes or any number of unforeseen events happen. Are you going to lose your work? not with Camtasia. So first of all, I want to show you, I'm going to go here into Camtasia preferences and I'm going to show you that first of all, you can set the ability to auto save every few minutes, right? So I've got it saved to every one minute here. So that is my first safeguard that it's saving every single minute my work. So if anything happens, I can retrieve my work, which brings me to my second point. How do you retrieve your work? So you go into this edit, uh, sorry, this recording section over here and over here, it's going to tell you where your recordings are being saved to. Of course, you can change this. Uh, my recordings are being saved to uh, this file inside movies Camtasia 2022. So I'm actually going to go here into uh, movies Camtasia 2022 and this is the folder that your recordings are going to be saved to while you are recording right so it, it says temporary recordings so I'm going to click over here and you can see that I am recording this right now it is actually 1 28 p.m look at the time on my laptop <laughs> look at the time here it's actually saving this in real time so if anything happens to my recording or my laptop dies or something happens not good. Hope nothing's going to happen. But if something does happen, I'm going to go into this folder and I can retrieve my work file from this temporary recordings uh, folder, which I think is a really, really excellent backup to have when you're doing professional quality work. The best thing is that you can actually test out all of these features that I just told you about absolutely for free. You can go into the link in my description and download Camtasia and do a trial version of it. And if you want to upgrade, then be sure to use my code for a discount. I will see you in the next video. Should save my recording. <laughs>